G'day, Lockie here. So in my previous video, I took a look at uh, integrating your own services into uh, the Istio Service Mesh. This video, I'm gonna keep it short, we're gonna look at um, ingress. So that's having services outside the mesh or outside the, the Istio uh, Kubernetes deployment. Uh, access services that are on the Istio service mesh. Um, so what we're going to do again is keep this kind of short and I want to go through everything and kind of explain what I'm doing it. You can follow along um, under the task enabling ingress traffic. Okay, so to kick this demo off, let me go over to my terminal again. And what we have here down the bottom, uh, so we have a clean installation of Istio 1.6, which was just released uh, earlier today. I just redeployed it using Helm um, and everything went okay. Uh, and what I'm going to do first, according to the demo here, is I'm actually going to use, we'll go through this, kubectl apply, um, istio ctl, kube inject. Um, so if you remember from my previous video, I'm going to inject the, the sidecar and the IP tables um, in it container into uh, this application called HTTP bin. So you can see that coming up down here now, and you see there's actually two containers in there, as we would expect. Um, and that's on its way up. It should have also deployed a service, get service called HTTP bin, and it sure has. Okay, so now what we're going to do is create an ingress. Um, so an ingress, there's an ingress controller in, built in and deployed as part of the Istio um, fabric. What we're gonna do is tell Kubernetes to create a simple ingress here. We're going to give it the class of Istio, and basically we're going to point slash headers and slash delay dot star at the service HTTP bin, which is what we just deployed in the previous step. Okay, so nothing new there. This is just a standard Kubernetes ingress that I am going to deploy. Okay, so I must have cleaned up from my last one. So we can just do a get ing, because I was playing with this before. Okay, so there's a simple ingress already deployed here. Fantastic. Um, and if we do a get simple ingress dash o yaml fantastic so that's all there okay so nothing more to do um, in terms of deployment so what i'm going to do right now is actually export the ingress url and then we should be able to hit it um, it's actually the ingress ip but in the document has ingress url so we're taking the ingress url which actually maps to cube cattle get service that IP maps to this Istio ingress. So we're hitting the deployed ingress controller for Istio and it should route us through to HTTP bin. Okay, um, so we have that. I will pop over here and we can curl this um, and we're gonna curl slash headers. Okay, fantastic. So we're able to hit it. You can see that there's um, a bunch in the headers here that got spat back to me, the host that we hit. Fantastic, so that's up and running. So we deployed an app and we deployed an ingress and Istio ingress is actually routing that traffic from the external over the internet into that service and back. And you can see these headers here for that. So fairly straightforward. Next, we're gonna demonstrate the same thing again, but we're gonna do a certificate. So because I didn't clean up from last time, this certificate still exists um, and it should be in there called uh, ingress secret. So let's just go and confirm cube get secret. And uh, ingress secret is here. Great. And cube cuddle get ing. Secured ingress. Cube cuddle get ingress dash o yaml. Okay, so very similar again. The only difference is that we're actually passing through a secret and we've got the path IP here. So we should be serving up a certificate. The ingress controller is um, uh, putting a certificate in front of this traffic. So if I ask for slash HTTP um, S, um, that path slash IP, I should actually get a certificate back. Um, and that's all handled by the ingress. All right, so let's just go here and we'll export the secured ingress URL here, which will be the IP address. Same IP address as the insecured simple one that we showed before, and we should be able to hit the... So let's go and take a look here. It's not returning. Cube, let me have a look at what's going on here. We'll do some live debugging. 
Okay, so for those of you who want to debug Kubernetes RBAC, there is no um, RBAC currently by the looks of it to allow this to read that secret. So let's see what we can do here. The service account cannot read that. Cube, cuddle, get, cluster, role binding. Now I think the ingress sits off here, the admin role binding for ingress, and so let's take a look at that one. Dash O YAML. So I want to see which role that's bound to, and it's bound to a cluster role called this. Cube cuddle edit cluster role, and we're going to edit this cluster role um, on the fly to get it working with Kubernetes. Okay, so we'll grab this and I'm copying API groups, namespaces, so I want to actually access secrets and I wanted to do a get, so let's see. Okay, so I've edited that. Don't try this at home. Okay, we should be okay now. That looked like... Okay, fantastic, woohoo. So all I did there was there was a broken uh, cluster role it wasn't allowing the ingress pod access to read the secret with the TLS certificates in it. Um, and all I did was go and modify that and allow it to read secrets from, the, from that namespace. Um, ideally, that would have been set up before this demo. So my apologies, but you got to see some, some, live, some live action there. Um, and as you can see, we're using HTTPS, but it's a self-signed cert, so we're ignoring the trust there. Um, and you can see the IP that this, this request is coming from. Um, wide. All right, fantastic. So just the, the last piece of, of this is actually we've delivered some ingresses. We've done a secured and insecured ingress. Now we can actually do some policy based on those ingress. Um, so first of all, what we're going to do here is go back and do a test. And we're going to do a time curl and we're going to grab the HTTP code and we're going to hit delay of five. So we got a, a 200 back and it took five seconds. So as you can see, this HTTP bin application that we deployed um, must have an endpoint that honors a delay here. So if we give it, pass it in a five, it's going to wait for five seconds before it returns. Okay, so this, this whole process takes five seconds. What I'm going to do here is actually create a route rule. Um, so using Istio CTL, I'm going to create a route rule. And for HTTP bin, we're going to create a three second rule. And it's going to say for the destination of the service HTTP bin at default.service.cluster.local, I'm going to time out in three seconds. So let's go ahead and, and push this in. Okay. And that has been created. I should be able to take this and do a get route rule. Are you? These are all stored on the Kubernetes API, um, which is great as well. So we have this three second rule that we've created. We're going to go back and ask it again to do a delay of five seconds. But with that route rule in the way, in the way after three seconds here, you can see by the time we've actually issued a 504. So the ingress has said, the back end didn't respond um, in three seconds, so I'm going to say 504. And that's all because of that, the existence of that rule. So I can go and just approve again, route rule, and we'll delete the... So we've now deleted this rule, so I should be able to run a delay of five seconds and have it return in five seconds with a 200. There we go. Okay. So again, we'll recreate the route rule, and we'll go and hit a delay. <laughs> Don't you just love this stuff? 504 at three seconds. So this is really cool. So not only have we showed how to get uh, provide external access, so services outside the Istio mesh, access into services hosted on the Istio mesh, we've also started playing with route rules here. So you've got a good in-depth of laying down some ingresses, having the ingress controller pick them up, and then starting to play with route rules. So we did a, uh, just a simple timeout today. Uh, that's all I had for ingresses. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, give me feedback. Uh, cheers, bye.